This is Wade Elliott, President of Utility Supply. Today we're going to talk about why is my coffee brown. Your customer comes to you and says, my coffee looks like weak tea. Another customer and says, comes to you and says, my lights are dim. What's happening? Well, what you're experiencing is a brownout or a low voltage situation. You may have some of your customers come to you and say, the voltage meter in my rig says I only have 105 volts. Why is this a problem? It's a problem because as voltage drops, current increases in order to maintain the same power level to components in your RV, such as a hair dryer or electric heater. As voltage drops, current goes up. When current goes up, wires get hot and can get hot enough to melt the insulation on the wire and maybe even start a fire. What causes a low voltage situation? Low voltage situations can be caused by a number of items. Number one, people using too much power. Number two, inadequate infrastructure in the ground. Maybe your wire isn't big enough. Number three, your RV site being too far away from your distribution panel. As current flows through a wire over a long distance, the voltage on that wire will drop, causing a low voltage situation. This will cause current to go up, increasing heat, melting insulation, and in the process, your coffee turns to weak tea. What can you do about a low voltage situation where you have coffee like weak tea? Well, a couple of things. You may have to ask your customers to turn off some power items. Number two, it may require you going into your park and doing some upgrades, adding heavier wire. Number three, it may require you to separate out some sites on separate circuits. Overall, as we see RVs become more electrified, this has become more and more of a problem. Local brownouts are not fun for you or your customer, and again, can only end badly. This is Wade Elliott with Utility Supply. Good day.